All right, laptopy tablet versus tabletty laptop. The new Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra versus Microsoft Surface Pro 9. Two very unique devices, so let's go over the raw stats. First, the externals. The Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra is Samsung's flagship large tablet that was just announced, with a starting price of $1,200, while the Surface Pro 9 is Microsoft's lead tablety laptop that retails for $1,000 for the regular model and $1,300 for the 5G version. As per usual with these devices, both of which have accessories that are often purchased together, with the Tab S9 Ultra coming with its S Pen in the box, so that's very much appreciated. Let's keep going. Perform factors, the Tab S9 Ultra is massive sporting a 14.6 inch screen, featuring dynamic AMOLED 2X, a very high refresh rate, and IP68 water and dust resistance, which is what I hope future tablets will sport as well, because the Surface does not have that. But even still, the Surface Pro 9 is no slouch, being 13 inches and having a 120 hertz refresh rate, which looks great in person, but in this comparison is a little outclassed to Samsung's own offering, and especially that IP68 rating that protects the device. Next, connectivity wise, the Microsoft laptop has a little more. The Surface Pro 9 rocks two USB-Cs and the Surface Connect port, which for a laptop is still a little sparse for some of us, but the Samsung tablet only sports one USB-C port, which I know I've been told this is nitpicking because most tablets don't have multiple USB-C ports, but it'd be nice to add more functionality to the massive Tab S9 Ultra with maybe an extra USB-C. However, it does have a micro SD card slot, something the Surface Pro 9 does not have, so we got some interesting competition, but the Surface has more ports overall. Now for cameras, both devices are pretty solid. For a tablet, the Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra brings a lot of heat, with dual sensors at both the front and the rear, hence the notch on the screen for the wide and ultra-wide sensors that are also found on the back. While the Surface Pro 9 only has single sensors on the front and back, but they're still pretty good for a laptop. And the 5G version has autofocus with Microsoft's own processor, so it's not half bad. But yeah, the Tab S9 Ultra takes the cake for this section. So for the external summary, the Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra has that included S Pen, IP68 rating, larger size, and micro SD card slot, while the Surface Pro 9 can be a bit cheaper and has more ports overall. Now let's talk about the internals. For the internal specs, the Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra sports the new Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, which is pretty impressive and comparable to the Surface Pro's own chips, with it sporting the 12th gen Intel processors and also Microsoft's ARM-based SQ3 processor. So to visualize, here are the single core performance performance benchmarks of these device configurations, and here are the multi-core. And as you can tell, these two are pretty neck and neck, but the Surface is a bit faster, but even still, very impressive performance for both devices. And for storage, the Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra starts with 256 gigabytes, which is double the Surface Pro 9, which, okay, wow, nice job Samsung, but even still, I would prefer more given the price. But of course, it is still expandable, while the Surface Pro 9 should definitely start with more storage for students and professionals alike, especially for a computer. But its SSD is upgradable, so that makes it more acceptable. And moving on to battery lives, the Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra doesn't have any concrete information on it yet, but basing off the previous generation's performance and initial tests, it looks like it should be good for at least 8 to 10 hours on a typical day, which is great. And the Surface Pro 9 does have a bit of variability with its battery life, so it's kind of tough to judge here but it seems somewhere between seven to eight hours is pretty typical for most individuals, which should support you for a full workday. And for security, both devices have their own protective software, with the Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra using an under the display fingerprint sensor, while the Surface uses Windows Hello. And finally, the big differentiator, the operating systems. The Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra runs Android on Samsung's One UI skin, while the Surface Pro 9 uses Windows 11. And the Tab S9 Ultra can kinda act like a laptop with Samsung DeX, while the Surface Pro 9 kinda acts like a tablet with its touchscreen functionality and form factor. Hence, laptopy tablet versus tablety laptop. However, putting it simply, we still have a tablet versus a laptop. So that will dictate the rest of the comparison and my verdict, which we'll discuss momentarily. But in summary, the Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra has more storage and a allegedly better battery, while the Surface Pro 9 has faster internal specs. Now, let's get on to my verdict. So, we have two devices that are fighting for your over $1,000, so which is the best device for you? Well, that depends on firstly, and always firstly, your needs. On this channel, I try to encourage every viewer to really look inward and see what you're looking for with your next device. Because if you're spending a large heap of money on a piece of tech, you gotta make sure that it's something that you will really use, or it's just something that you will eventually lose. Man, that was not a great rhyme. 
But in this case, we're talking about a tablet that can kind of act like a laptop and a laptop that can kind of act like a tablet. So two very different devices. So let's break each one down. First, the Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra. This thing is a great, massive tablet that can definitely be used as some sort of art canvas, portable photo editor, or presentation type device. But I would be remiss to say that it is a good primary device. Rather, I would say that it is a good companion to your workstation laptop. Because there are certain things that a tablet will do well, like presentations and sketches, and there are things that a laptop can do better, like multitasking, for example. So something I like to consider tablets as is more companions to your setups. They're better as supports to your mains. You know what I mean? On the flip side, the Surface Pro 9 can be your main. It can act as a typical laptop with its full Windows 11 functionality and be taken with you on trips alone. No other computers needed unless you need something more powerful. That's the difference between these two devices. Now, Samsung DeX for the Tab S9 Ultra does muddy the water a little bit by allowing the tablet to slightly convert into a computer. But I wouldn't consider that as something to use consistently, as it is more so a scaled up version of Android, still with some better multitasking and compatibility. So to bring things around, here is my verdict. If you already have a computer, are okay with or typically use Android, and have a use for a large tablet like this, get the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra. If you don't have a use for the size though, I would probably refer you to the smaller Tab S9 or S9 Plus that are functionally very similar. But if you do not already have a computer, and prefer the Windows PC operating system, I'd recommend the Microsoft Surface Pro 9. Ultimately though, this is completely your decision, and it would be to your benefit to check both devices out in person at your local Best Buy and ask the workers what they think. If they give you some good personalized suggestions and you can see yourself using one device over the other, that's the one you should get. But remember, always focus on your needs first. And that was my comparison of the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra versus the Microsoft Surface Pro 9. I hope this video helped and I hope to see you again soon. My name is Cyrus. It's spelled like Cyrus, but not like Cyrus, too. Just take out the terror. Thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day. Peace. Fingers,